Hello, everyone. Welcome to match up six of the Fantasy Baseball Experience podcast. This week, our top scorer, Kevin, could not join us. He's busy watching a movie right now. Who knows? With probably his parents cooking a steak. But we got the second top scorer here, Logan Richburg. First time on the pod. Logan joined us from Atlanta. Nice to see you, man. Good to see y'all. Thank y'all for having me. And then also first time on the pod, my wife and possibly the worst team in the league last <laughs> scoring this week, my matchup, Kenzie Brogdon. Kenzie, how are you doing? Indeed. Thank you. 125 <laughs> this week, Kenz. What do you think about that? I mean, could have been better. I expected at least another 100, but, you know, things yeah. happen. We'll get into that. I'll let you have the honors of doing the bottom three power rankings. So we expect to Fantastic. see you down there, but maybe you'll give us a curveball. I uh, I want to start, Logan, your insane bats. I'm looking through – I go through the fantasy cast for the week, and obviously you have a really good week. Cody has a really good week from his pitchers. But if you go through your list, your top dudes, they're all hitters, man. What's up with that? I mean, you got some dogs coming through for you. Yeah, so uh, this year I took a different approach um, when we were drafting, tried to go – stack up the uh the batter spots instead of the pitchers and uh obviously it worked because my pitching has been dong water so far um but batting's been oh. pretty pretty consistent rizzo had 39 this week mookie had 30 this week yeah Jordan rizzo uh, rizzo and uh salvador perez have been been coming hot the past two weeks but for the most part you know wander franco and um cedric mullins um they're just some dogs through and through. Yeah. Um, you know, been having good weeks. Yeah, and I know yeah. Cody keeps acting like he deserved to win this week. Well, he didn't get one. And I don't know if he deserved it because, uh, quite honestly, Mitch Keller did all of the work for him this week. 70 points. When you saw that was the uh, – I guess it was today when he had his second start, right? It wasn't yesterday. So, you see him go for a second 35 bomb in a row. What did you think about that? <sighs> Oh uh, gosh. Um just thought it was gonna be another one of those weeks where you think you got it in the bag or you're gonna sneak up and come from behind to win and you know the other team just pulls out some something out of the, their back pocket. Um but no. It's been insane. I'm gonna share his screen right here. Look at the freaking baseball savant page on Mitch Keller. Nobody saw this. 93 percentile and hard hit percentage. Now, 89th percentile on his average exit velocity, 74th percentile on K percentage. I think he had like 14 Ks today. Something yeah, 13 crazy. or 14. The yeah, dude was falling, and I don't know if anybody expected that coming into the season. Did Cody <laughs> trade for Mitch Keller? I think he did. I don't remember that. Or was that Joe something? Yeah, Joe Ryan's been a dog. Let's see. Mitch Keller. Oh, yeah, so he – yeah, that's right. He got him from Brady for Joe Musgrove. He also got Vince Velasquez, who hurt himself right after the trade. But it's looking good right now for him. I mean, to be honest, um, I, he's got a pretty loaded pitching staff, pitching roster. Um, so I expected, you know, some 15, 20 pointers in there, maybe one 25 plus. But I think every one of his pitchers this week went for 24 and up on every single start. And I think he had five starts this week. Um, yeah, it's bonkers. You're I'm right. You're you're right. I'm going through it right now. And he definitely got that. But uh last thing I want to cover for you, and I, I shared something here. I'll uh, pull it up so everyone can get a good look at this. You added Marcelo Zuna this week. So uh you think he's gonna help the team? What do you think about Ozuna? <laughs> what do you see in him? You think he's gonna stay on the roster for a while or what's up? Uh it's not not a great, you know, PR look for for balls deep um, balls deep is the managerial is getting a lot of loaded questions <laughs> i don't know how they're gonna handle that uh so my batters pretty much every spot is is doing hot except for my utility spot i kind of i whiffed on one pick maybe two picks this year with cronenworth and cj crone um so i needed somebody to pick up off waivers and you know last week he dropped 37 last week over the past two weeks he's averaging like I can't remember if it's four or like six points per game when he's playing. The only thing I'm worried about um, with him is Travis Darno coming back because obviously we've seen this week that's going to eat up into his time a little bit um, at that DH spot. But yeah. we'll see what yeah. happens. 
his savant page, it looks exactly like what you expect from Marcelo Zunia. I mean, not a good expected batting average, but 98th percentile max exit velocity. Everyone knows he can hit the shit out of the ball. He can also hit the shit out of his wife. So Marcelo Zuna, best of luck for you having him on your team. You know, I'm a Braves guy. I hope he stays around. I hope he makes a big difference for the team. But uh, tough PR move for you. We'll see how it pans out for the rest of the year. You, you got to make some some questionable pickups when you're one and four, you know. So anything to help the team out. Yes, yeah, so I think it's you're a good that. team. You've been unlucky. You've been unlucky. You got a really good team. The squad looks good. Um, not only have they been unlucky, but the squad also does not look good. Kinsley, we're going to move to you. The first thing that I want to start with, obviously you've been fighting for Brady for the last spot every week on the pod. And this week, Kenley Jansen goes negative 21 and Rysel Iglesias yeah. goes negative 16. So you're at negative 37 from your relief pitchers. Are you panicking? Do you think it's just a bad week? And do you plan on making any moves there? I don't really know. I don't feel like I need to panic yet. I know Iglesias just got back. So like, I know he's still like trying to get in the groove and Kenley like overall has been doing decent. I'm not saying he's the best RP out there by any means. But overall this year, he's been doing decent. He had a atrocious week. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about that. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about Iglesias doing bad this week either. So, like, there is no um, – there, there's no explanation as to how bad they did this week. Um, I'm really thinking that they're going to pick it back up again. I'm hoping it's just a fluke. I mean, I feel like that I've got to give them at least another week before I panic and before I start looking for other options to fill those spots. Um, but we'll see. I know you're not like full panic dropping. Are you interested in any trades right now? People are trying to buy. I'd be low interested money. in trades. I mean, anybody can throw a trade my way, but don't throw me like I get rid of Austin Riley or Freddie Freeman, Mitch, to pick up a, a pitcher. So somebody else can can throw me a trade out there where it's somewhat reasonable. Okay. Well, um, something that might have benefited your team this week. It's causing a lot of drama in the league, a lot of hearsay, a lot of talk going around. Lord have mercy. Your fourth mm. round pick, Dylan Cease, Southside. Um, yeah. You traded him and Nick Martinez, traded him low, trying to buy high on some pitching that's really just some waiver wire ads, but they've been doing well. Eduardo Rodriguez and Logan Allen. Uh, now all the talk about waiver orders and things going on for Logan Allen, who you've been in bed with, working around some trades, trying to figure out what's best for the team. C's had a really good game against the Astros Saturday. Are you, were you sold too early or are you happy with it? I mean, I don't know. I think that kind of Logan's point, like I get it, fourth round draft pick, but whew, the baseball chat blew up like a bunch of sorority girls freaking out about this move. I mean, like, come on now. When you're one and four, you got to make some moves. You got to figure some things out and say, you know, I might have to get rid of him now. You know, if it ends up biting me in the butt in the end, it does. So be it. Um, but I, I really feel like that Eduardo Rodriguez, I agree. Like the Tigers are not it, but he's been doing well. And I'm hoping he can keep it up for a little bit longer to at least benefit my team, to at least get a couple of wins here in the next couple of weeks. And then if I have to get rid of him, we do another trade of some sorts. But I think that it'll be enough time for him to still keep going in his groove and get Allen a couple more starts to where I feel like that he's like a dependable pitcher to start, but I, I'm not sure if he's there yet. I would like to see a little bit more out of him first before I um, put him in the SP spot. Yeah, I we'll see how the trade turns out. I mean, who knows what's going to happen? Everyone's causing a bunch of drama. Logan Allen could go back on waivers next week. See who knows? He could be the truth, but I wanted to give you the honor since Kevin couldn't make it this week of – I want you to hype up his team. 336 points. He's been Ooh. doing it week in, week out. Kins, how do you feel about Kevin's team, and should Logan make him the top dog in the power rankings? So I think I play Brady next week, and then Kevin. I mean, I was really hoping I'd get a win this week out of you, but my entire pitching staff put up 13 total, um, so that's rough. Um, but then I play Brady next week, so I hope I can get a win there. But then I play Kevin, so I'm nervous. Um, I think that Kevin, by far, um, has the best team in the league in, re in regards to just putting up points. I mean, we've got a lot of other solid teams out there, but when you think about who can consistently put up over 300 every week, there are very few teams that can do that. I mean, obviously, everybody's going to have an off week. Um, 
nobody's going to go undefeated. I know Kevin Ray has one loss. He's going to get a couple more, I'm sure, by the end of the season. But it's going to be hard to put up um, over 300 week after week to beat them. Yeah, I was going to pull up uh, points four here, but I'm in a funky screen. I'm not used to navigating on my computer, but I, I'm imagining Kevin's got to be the top right there, right? He's uh, first 1678, 1678. I don't think that includes this week even, which he blew everyone out of the water. So mm-hmm. anyways, uh, with that being said, Logan, I'm going to let you lead it off with the top three in the power rankings. Let's see where you think they stand. All right. Um First, you know, you didn't ha- really have to sell me on anything there, Kinsley. Um, I had I had to put Kevin at one. Um, just respect for his team doing this week in and week out the past past couple weeks. Um, I'm a little bit nervous that he's he's getting a little too hot too soon. Um, but you know, for for the week, you know how he's been playing, he's got to be one. I like it. I think uh, we all know Kevin's going to fall apart. It's Kevin. He probably won't even make the playoffs somehow. I don't know how, but it's just Kevin. And we need to give him his credit while, while it's due, but it can't last all season. Um, this one this one might cause some, you know, ripples in the group chat after, but uh, I got I to gotta put myself, you know, second. Second. So I'm, you uh, be, uh, just clarify. Two and four. Two and, two and four? four? Second place? I'm, I'm two and four, but I have probably after this week the second most points scored in the whole league. I was third coming into the week, and I have about on average from every other team two hundred more points against on the season. So I've had a you know a bit of unfortunate luck. Um, got a couple pitchers coming back. Good selling. I think I finally I think I finally found a couple pitchers. Um, Alex Cobb, Wells off the waiver. He had the 31 pointer this week on my bench. Scherzer's back. I mean, 20 points. I was just happy to see him not go negatives or uh, get hurt again this week. So once I once I get the pitching di- dialed in, you know, we already know the bats are bats are hot. So I'll let you slide with that, just because you said I know you've gotten a lot of points against, and hopefully that luck changes. Uh, we'll see. Maybe yeah, Mike Stroke even gets called up, helps the pitching more. The Braves are. I mean, they're dealing with crazy injuries, so there's got to be someone step up and fill that role. That's right. Not everybody can have an easy schedule like Kevin or Benton, you know, so. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, uh, to the last in the top three, who's going to make it with you sliding all the way up there? Yeah, so this one was tricky. I could have gone a couple different directions here. Um, you know, everybody's been talking about Will's team. Um Shippy's up there, three and two. I guess about to be three and three Little this week. I think. Better if he had C's. Benton, uh, Benton had a terrible week, so not not going to put him up there. He's lucky to get out last week with a win. Um, Mitch could be up there, but just because of the whole Mitchell and Will thing that happened this week, they don't deserve to be anywhere near the top three. So I'm going with going with Brog Dog on this one. Um, I, I like that. In, That's fair logic. He gets in. Um, this week, I think you you were pretty high up there on points for this week too. Yeah, I think I'm going to be end up fourth. And you've been uh, sniffing around top three consistently all year. I think uh, I don't think you've Usually been fifth. getting you know. But anyway, yeah, Brady Brady had a good week. Yeah, I appreciate. So. It. Um, I obviously see myself. I think our top five right now in the league are really sturdy. They've been pretty consistent throughout the whole power rankings. Us, Kevin, Austin, Benton, you know, they're doing good in there. Will's team solid. So they're all interchangeable from week to week. And the team seem to be good. I was happy with how they performed. So I appreciate the number three spot. Um, Logan, is that all you got for your top three? You have any honorable mentions? Anybody almost snuck in? lost y'all for a second what'd y'all say i was just asking if that was uh all you had left for your top three in the power rankings you gave a pretty good lowdown on why other people didn't make it but just making sure you didn't have an honorable mention no uh i guess honorable mention this week people been dog and brady's team um pretty good and it kind of hurts me to i don't know if i want to give him an honorable mention but he did he did have a good week this week so if it's just strictly based on week to week you know, I might toss him up there if we're still looking overall at the whole season. I probably wouldn't go quite that far um, just yet. And uh, I do believe, I apologize if this is incorrect, I have gotten news that Clayton Kershaw's mother has passed away. Let's give a moment of silence for him.
uh, happy Mother's Day, uh, Clayton Kershaw. Hopefully you can overcome this, and uh, maybe you're on a two-start next week on a Tuesday, so he could come out big playing for his mom. Um, Kinsley, with that, we're going to head to you for the bottom three. I am so excited to hear where you ended up here. Let's start with yeah. number 10 and uh, work down to 12. I really struggled a little bit because I feel like that, like, the bottom, to Logan's point, like, the top five is pretty sturdy. Then you got a couple floaters in the middle. And then, like, you've got, like, the bottom, like, four that just keep rotating around. So, I feel like a 10, I'm going to put Alex. I don't feel like that Alex's team performed great this week, but I think that he got bit by the injury bug really early. He's got yeah. a start. Solid, solid team but i know like rasmussen just went on like the 60 day il yeah i don't know what even happened to him but i'm assuming that elbows i saw it was an elbow flexor strain i think i have no idea yeah. um middle name is now tommy i believe yeah yeah i think so too um but he's got a couple of guys in the aisle and that's not saying his team is bad i'm just thinking that it's really going to hurt him going forward um but i think because it was record i think i would probably put him right now at the 10 spot yeah alex he had a great team and he's had some great weeks but agree 100 percent. it's coming down on him hard hopefully de grom yeah come Nitty, but uh yeah i think last time i checked that he's got four guys going to the aisle either in his aisle spot or bench or in the lineup i know he's got two starting pitchers in the aisle between 16 and 15 day yeah so it's with Rasmussen gonna, being but, dropped, he still has four men on the IL. So, yeah, I'm I'm okay with him being there. We know his team can perform much better, but the injuries are looking glim for his team. Yes, so we'll, uh, we'll move on to eleven, and we'll just leave him alone because I know he's not going to like that ranking. Yeah, I know, and I and again, I don't, I don't like mean any ill will putting him there. I just it's not going well with all those injuries. So. At the 11 spot, this guy is definitely going to hate me, but I'm really just not sure. I feel like, like, I feel like it's got to be Cody. I was really stuck between Cody and Hayden, but I think it's going to be Cody. Cody's pitching this week, stellar. Like, also, put up, what was it, 214, at least 214 right now. Like, it's done really, really well, more than Ben and Mitch and a bunch of other guys in this group. Um, but, again, taking a, a hard loss to Logan this week um but overall though like i feel like that his team his batters are just kind of meh i mean what is he gonna fall to is it two and four two and i think two and four now after the loss logan this week so yeah two and four yes yeah so i definitely think that there is a lot of i mean his pitching is, is definitely carrying him pitching is, is looking solid um so i think that there's a lot of positive upside pitching. from there but he needs some batters I'm impressed with his pitching because it's not like he's got a real deep rotation and he's just exactly. Rotating. Oh, he's got five pitchers that are just they're just performing. Joe Ryan's playing over his head. Mitch Killer's playing absolutely. Over. Shane Bieber is acting like he's a good pitcher again, but we all know he's an old man. And honestly, the guy that's underperforming, Corbin Burns, is top guy. I know it. So I know, but he's got some good good pitchers there. And again, I think that they're just carrying his team. So if one happens to go out, I think it's definitely downhill from there. Well, uh, with that, Kins, we'll let you explain why you're the worst team in the league. I mean, you know, I really was upset. I thought I was really trying this week. Now, mind you that I went on like an eight-game losing streak to end the season last year. I won the first match of this year. I'm pretty sure it'll be Logan first first week this year. Um, and now I'm back from this losing streak. So I've got to figure out what's up. I'm trying to make some trades, trying to get some uh, pitchers going again, and trying to get some some wins there. I feel like my batters, there's a couple of positions that are like my star players and there's other positions. It's like, I need help. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping I can fill in some of those random outfielder spots or I'm hoping Iglesias or Jansen are going to pick back up and be, you know, how they started off. Well, not how Iglesias started off season. That might be for the better if he ends back up on the bench, but Jansen, if he starts back up again, doing like he did in the beginning of the season, that'd be great. Um, I'm just it's just not there right now. I'm trying to make some moves and trying to get it to get it to work, which is not there. Maybe getting two pitchers out of that C steel and they both perform, you'll be all right. And Austin Riley's gotta start hitting. I mean, you're was that your second he's round? Due. Assuming yes. He's one. he's due. And Freddie's Freddie's doing great, so he's he's carrying on, but uh, I'm hoping that we get some some movement here soon. Um definitely optimistic playing Brady next week. I think that'll be a good matchup between the both of us. 
then a couple weeks down the road, it's not going to look great. But I just need one win under my belt really soon. Yeah, you need to turn around because you start sitting it. You're going to be one in five after this, and the playoffs are looking rough, rough making them. So you need to start turning around here quickly. Hopefully those guys pick it up. We're going to turn it around. We're going to find some. We're going to turn it around. So either of y'all have any last comments? I think those power rankings are fair. Uh, I'm thrilled to see myself in the top three out of Logan, and I think he's deserving of putting himself there. I think Kinsley knows where she's at, but uh, anybody in the middle you want to mention anything that's up in the league you want to talk about? No, I just didn't know I was in a league with a bunch of drama queens, but I'm hoping that this week it kind of settles out and we all are, you know, good managers of our teams and that things just keep on moving along. I mean, it's fantasy. You got to have drama. Got that. Logan, any last words? No. um, No, not really. I I think it would – be interesting to see whose teams uh, starts to heat up over the last half of the season compared to the first half. Definitely think there will be some some mix up and change. So, yeah, Definitely. we're in a tight league right now. So, besides Kinsley's clearly at the bottom and Kevin's clearly at the top, everyone in the middle is in a very deep playoff late race right now. So, I'm excited to see how that turns out. Logan, thank you so much for taking time out of your Sunday night. Kinsley, I'm impressed that you stayed up this late. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thanks. Tip for the Matchup 6 podcast. I hope everyone likes and subscribes to YouTube and enjoys the content. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks. Thanks.